So I remember looking at my doctor in the face, so confused, so confused because he just told me that fibroids are normal. Fibroids are normal because I'm a black woman. Yes, I was perplexed. The doctor just told me, he just told me that fibroids are normal because I'm a black woman. Can you relate? Give me a thumbs up. Can you relate to what I'm saying right now? Give me a thumbs up. Wool Wallace community, welcome. Instagram community, welcome, welcome, welcome. So this live is for you. If you've been told that hysterectomies are only option, you've been told to watch and wait. You've been told that you need to take birth control, right? This live is for you if you know deep down inside there's another way. There is another way to get to the root of fibroids. You are already aware that surgeries and drugs do not prevent fibroids from growing back, right? This slide is for you. So the doctor just told me that and I was like, this is not making sense, right? I was in the doctor's office. The room started to become very, very dark as he continued to say, Phyllis, if you get the surgery, if you get this myomectomy, I can guarantee you five years that the fibroids will not grow back. I was like, wait, wait, wait. The doctor's office became a car dealership. I was being sold on a car that I didn't want. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. It was no longer a doctor's appointment. I was at a car dealership. So I thought, wait, you're selling me on a surgery? Wait, 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 wait. The fibroids can grow back? Are you saying that the fibroids can grow back? <laughs> so, we're gonna talk about how you may have went through a myomectomy to conceive. You were told by your doctor, you have to get a myomectomy to get the fibroids removed so you can conceive. You did that, you got the myomectomy. You may have gotten two, three myomectomies, but now your tubes are blocked. Your tubes are blocked. Your fallopian tubes are blocked and you're having challenges conceiving. So you listen to the doctor, but now your goal, you can't even get to it, right? It's becoming harder and harder because of all the scar tissue. So. I'm gonna give you the tea on how to avoid the situation, how to overcome it, and share this video because sis, many of us are dealing with this on the low. Your friends, your sisters, your aunties, your grandmothers, they're all dealing with this. And we are in lack when it comes to the right information on how to get to the root of this. It doesn't have to be a hysterectomy down the road. That does not have to be your fate is a hysterectomy. No, not at all. So, Wom Wallace community, welcome. If you're not part of the Wom Wallace community, you'll miss it out. So join us, it's a free group on Facebook. The link is in my bio. I'm gonna be giving you guys some extra details, right? Extra details, I'm gonna post it in the group about this topic. So if you're not a part of our Womb Wellness community on Facebook, it's a free Facebook group. Go ahead and join us. Link is in my bio. So let's get back into this. We got Sean Dace here. We got Exo here. Philip, so beautiful to see you, friend. And I love and adore you so much. Same here. The love is right back at you. Hugs, 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 hugs. <laughs> Sean Dace, that's a lie. They come back, right? 
She already know. Sean Dace already know. So let's get into this. So doctor tells me, I can guarantee you five years the five boys won't grow back. And I'm thinking, just like Sean Dace said, how do you know that? Like, how do you determine the fate of what happens after the myomectomy? My doctor never talked about my stress levels, he never talked about my diet, he never asked me any questions about, you know, if I'm working out, the way I'm working out, special lab work, none of those things were even d touched on, even discussed at all. Nothing about my lifestyle, but yet you're going to tell me that you can guarantee me five years and the fibroids won't grow back, right? So I was extremely frustrated, confused, perplexed, and just not in a good state of mind. I was, I was literally ready to burst, cry. There was a lot of emotions going through me that I had to just leave. And as he continued to talk about, you know what, here's what you, know, what you can do, the birth control, I talked about all these things that will get me further and further away from the root of the issue. Because my thing is, I don't want to go through a surgery and have to go through another surgery and another surgery. I don't want to keep getting my uterus cut on repeatedly. That is something I did not want to do. And everything he was saying wasn't getting me towards that goal. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I knew I had to get out of there. Yes, I knew I had to get out of there. So that's what I did. I said no to the surgery. I did not end up going through with any surgery. No myomectomy, no birth control, no other procedures. I just left. Now, mind you, I was carrying large fibroids at the time. Yeah, so not only did, did I leave with such, with such a mission, but I left also in fear of what was going to happen because I didn't know, right? I didn't know what to do. I was alone dealing with this. No one else knew. So I, I was at a loss of what to do. So I'm gonna get into more of that. I'm gonna check in who's here. Hey, Andre's here. Hey, Andre, Sunflower is here. Money can't buy class. She's also in the building. What's up, what's up? Yes. Anne is here. So ladies, gents, feel free to ask your questions by pressing the question mark at the bottom right. I'm gonna get into more of your questions. And I wanna hear some feedback, some suggestions. You know how we flow here, we always have a good time. So bring it in, bring in the energy. So I ended up leaving the doctor's office, not knowing what to do. I was in tears, I was frustrated, lots of emotions. Give me a thumbs up if you can agree, if you can feel what I'm saying right now. Yes, lots of emotions going through me. And I felt I needed to immerse myself in something. You know, started looking up on Google about fibroids. Um, now, I would say my background helped a little bit as I have been a registered nurse for over 15 years and I've witnessed, right, the medical system's unreliability when it comes to fibroid management. I've noticed how even caring for thyroid patients in the past. They would get the surgery, they would um, take the birth control, they would come back in the doors, back into the hospital because of another problem. And being able to see over and over um, the inconsistency when it comes to dealing with fibroids and using the standard quo right? Using the standard quo, oh, get a myomectomy, do this, do that. None of those things get to the root of it. So seeing that for so long as a nurse, but also um, as a personal trainer for over 10 years, I can see how the status quo of exercise, changing your diet, those are not enough to get to the root of it, right? Because I did those things Consistently, I was a bikini athlete, right? Eating healthy meals, working out, 
sometimes twice a day, right? And getting somewhat of good sleep, right? What I thought at the time, you know, five, six hours, doing, thing, doing everything right. Traditional way of living, right? Being healthy, that wasn't enough. So I knew that I had to do something that really tapped inward. Things weren't working right inside of me. It was beyond the physical. So I started to look up and um, be a part of different communities that were more on the holistic side of things. I started to grab information here and there. Again, my nursing background did help in the aspect of understanding how the body works from a traditional old modern science perspective and I, I was able to kind of connect that to the new science, the new science, epigenetics, yes, and understand how the body works in relation to light, movement, and energy and how, how, fibroid, cell, how fibroid cells form at the cellular level. So being able to connect all of that together and follow some thought leaders that were able to heal themselves and really embody their teachings, I was able to create another formula. I was able to create a unique formula. And this was inspired by what I've already tried as a, a coach, a fitness coach, as a personal trainer, as a, um, or learning as a registered nurse, kind of using all of that background knowledge to say, okay, it can be those same things. It has to be something different. And knowing that fibroids are fake cells, all right? Give me a thumbs up if you knew that. Fibroids are fake cells. Yes, so fibroids are fake cells. So something in my blood, in my blood, is causing these cells to not act right. There's something marinating in my blood. So me able to understand that I knew that traditional things, standard things are no longer going to work. It's gonna take something to change what's in my blood. So understanding that our diet plays a role, stress plays a role, right? The way you work out plays a role. Your, your, uh, the status of what's in your blood, special lab work plays a role, right? Your digestive, the status of your digestive system. So all of these things, I was able to create a formula, kind of mesh it together where it's very structured and sequenced. So you would do a certain amount of practices and then you would move on to another set of practices over time. That consistency can help dilute your blood. And that's what happened to me. So I created this unique formula, right? For those that don't know me, my name is Phyllis. Thanks for joining, thanks for joining. I am the founder of Fibroid Queen and I've been able to shrink and eliminate fibroids naturally using a unique holistic formula. Now, I coach women on how to eliminate fibroid problems in the unique holistic program. So this formula is exercise, it's used in the Unique Holistic Program. So back to this formula, how did it come about? So learning how to see the body from beyond the physical, following thought leaders that were more on the holistic side that were able to heal themselves, and then bridging my background and putting that all in a blender, I created this formula and I followed it consistently for, I would say, at least a year. It involved, you know, the way I work out, it was different. I started eating more foods that were lower in inflammation. Um, it really matched up with, with the results of my lab work um, and uh, understanding my hormones. So different things that are entailed in this formula to help you dilute the blood and that's what it did for me it helped me dilute my blood where i started noticing my periods became lighter and my abdomen started to become more softer like it wasn't as hard i mean literally it was a rock 
And again, I was carrying large fibroids. It became softer. And talk about energy. Like my energy started to vibe differently. I was in a much better mood. Didn't feel exhausted. There was even an odd situation where I was going up a flight of stairs and I felt this immense amount of pressure and fatigue. It only lasted so long, but later finding out that I was passing a fibroid. So that aspect of things really reflects when the body is naturally working to strengthen the immune system, it happens on a holistic perspective. So my body was naturally getting stronger where it was not, it was no longer an environment for fibroids. So I was feeling that resistance and that is what was happening. I didn't know it at the time, right? So following this formula consistently allowed me to start to see different aspects of life beyond the physical. And it gave me motivation to know that what, gave me motivation to know that, you know what? I can actually heal my body. My body doesn't have to be victimized to surgery and drugs, right? It's not like I, I have to depend on someone, depend on a drug, depend on this person, depend on this doctor, depend on this man. I was feeling so empowered to stay consistent with this formula. And that consistency has brought me here talking with you and now helping women all over the world. So this live, I wanna give you tips, give you the tea on how to move, at how to further go on with life, knowing that you went through a myomectomy only to be able to conceive, but finding out that you can no longer conceive because your tubes are blocked. You listen to the doctor, you were told to get a myomectomy and now your tubes are blocked. So what to do? How to avoid this situation? I'm gonna talk about that on this live. All right, let's get to some of these questions and comments here. Welcome, welcome. Marjorie is here, money, money can't buy class. I had a UFE procedure this morning. I'm at home resting, watching this live. Any suggestions on managing post-op, please let me know. Absolutely, that's the same thing as a myomectomy. It does not get to the root of the issue, right? I'm glad you're resting um, and taking this in because at the end of the day, procedures, drugs, surgeries do not get to the root of the issue. The problem is in your blood, right? So understanding that what is going on with your blood was not caused by you not getting a surgery. It's not going to fix it. So let's get into that. Thank you for that question on um, money can't buy class. All right, what are the questions? Yeah, Shondace, right, 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 right. So if you got a UFE, drop a, a, drop a one in the comments. Drop a one in the comments. Yeah, drop a one in the comments if you got a UFE. If you had a myomectomy before, drop a two, drop a two. All right, let's get into this. Womb Wallace community, what's up? If you're catching a replay, amazing. Drop comment, drop in the comments, replay, if you are catching a replay. All right, so let's get into this because at the end of the day, we want to get to the root of it, right? We want to get to the root of it. Root of it. So number one, Getting a myomectomy is not a one and done when it comes to fibroids. And for the most part, fibroids is not an emergency situation. It shouldn't be, but these days it's, it's coming to that because either you found out because you're having pain, right? Now the severity of the pain can be very light to you. It's really affecting you on a day to day, right? you miscarry, right? And you found out that due to you having fibroids that played a role in you having a miscarriage, right? Or you just had a traditional standard doctor's appointment, right? You had a doctor's appointment and you, found, you go in thinking one thing, but come out with a diagnosis of urine fibroids. So there's many ways that women are finding this out but it should not have to be this way, right? 
because many women are walking around with fibroids growing in their body. It may be very, very, very small, but their fibroids growing and they have no idea, right? Until it presents a, 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 a problem like pain or um, again, finding out bloated ab abdomen, you know, whatever. So there are many, many women walk around with fibroids, don't know it, but have no symptoms. So you have to understand that something in your lifestyle is causing these things to jump off and grow, right? Where you become aware of it. Something is happening and it, it's starting from your blood, a cellular level. Yes. So number one, <clears throat> myomectomy is not an emergency situation where you're a myomect where, where it has to be your only way of getting rid of the fibroids. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you are at the mercy of your surgeon. You're at the mercy of your surgeon because are they experienced? How many myomectomies have they done? How skilled are they? Because they're literally going in to pluck, chuck, cut, right? Every cut comes with a scar tissue. So it's really dependent on the skill of the surgeon, the OBGYN. That's going to affect your results greatly. Absolutely. So how skilled they are in cutting and plucking the fibroids can determine your outcome in regards to scar tissue. Because scar tissue can act like a fibroid and block your chances of conception. Yes. Fibroid tissue, I mean, scar tissue can act like a fibroid. Yes. And block your chances of getting pregnant. So every cut during a myomectomy equates to scar tissue. That is why in our unique holistic program, we have many women that have gotten myomectomies. They actually joined our unique holistic program to avoid fibroids growing back. Many women who've gotten a UFE, they've joined our program to avoid the fibroids growing back after a UFE. I have coached many women who joined our program because they got two UFEs. The first one, there was no change because they had, they had, uh, they also had large fibroids. They got a second UFE and minimal change. So after two UFEs, they, you know, could you imagine frustration? And being able to join a community of women who understand what it feels like to go through the right way of doing things. You're following authority with your doctor, you know, thinking that you can trust them. But at the end of the day, it's just an opinion. They're giving you an opinion of what you should do. That is not what you have to do. You know what I'm saying? It's an opinion. This is what they feel based on their expertise. At the end of the day, if you're looking to heal your body versus treat, because treat is temporary, treating is medications and drugs, that is not going to eliminate fibroids for good. It takes healing. So we got healing, we got treating. Temporary fix, long lasting results. Just understand that your doctor can only treat you. That is within their specialty. So if you're looking to get rid of fibroids for good, your doctor may not be able to help you with that. Typical OBGYN, typical doctor is not going to be able to help you with that because they treat fibroid elimination, long lasting results, takes healing. It takes healing. So I knew that leaving the doctor's office that I had to tap into something else to get me from a point of fibroid suffering to getting over this. I knew it was going to take something more than what I've seen. I didn't know exactly what, but you know, you have that feeling deep down inside, like, you know what, you got to go this way, go this way, go this way. And that's what I, I, I just continue to do is just go that way and know that I am beyond a standard. I, I, I knew at that time, even though I was dealing with a lot of emotions, a lot of fear, deep down inside, I knew that I am worthy of finding out another way. I knew that much that I am worthy of finding out another way. What the doctor was saying was 
you know, valid, but that wasn't the season for me to be getting my uterus cut up, not knowing that these fibroids can grow back. Like that wasn't something I wanted to even entertain at all. So when it comes to healing, you're gonna need some help, right? I see this all the time with women. Oh, you know, I've been doing, trying to get rid of fibroids on my own. You know, I can't, it doesn't work. You know, I try the holistic. It's just not for me. Well, the thing is, fibroid elimination naturally is not a DIY type of thing. It's not a do-it-yourself right? You, you, your body works in community with other organs. Internally, you have trillions of cells. They work as a system. They're not working by themselves. So we have to take that same approach from a physical aspect. You need a team. You need a community, right? And that's what I had to learn. I had to understand that I needed a coach. Even though I was a coach, I needed a coach as well. I needed support. I needed help to understand the complexity of how my body works in order to get the results to clean out my blood. So in order to eliminate fibroids, you are gonna need some help. It's nothing that you can do alone. And luckily for me, I did have a little bit of background, right? I had a little bit of background. I had some, some knowledge of the old way of things, but I, I would say that doesn't even matter. It, it was all about me wanting to find another way and be realizing my worth, right? I'm not just a number. I'm just not going to just follow any old thing and just jump on it and do it without questioning, without looking more into it, without realizing who I am, right? So it did take a little bit of work from the, from the inner part of things. So you're listening. And you were told by your doctor, you know what? You have to get a myomectomy. Well, understand this. These fibroids can grow back. And it's not a matter of, you know, can't, you know what? It's not even can. It, they will. It's like a matter of when it happens for you. I've heard women is short of six months. They grew back a year, two years. Because whatever's floating in your blood can also cause other diseases as well. It's not just fibroids, it could be diabetes, it could be high blood pressure. So it's really important that we look at it from a, a root issue, a root of other diseases type of thing versus it just being fibroids. And a doctor simply going in and plucking it off your uterus, just like you pluck a hair off your chin, it's gonna grow back. But with this surgery, you're also inviting scar tissue. So scar tissue can add another complex challenge when it comes to conceiving. You have two fallopian tubes, two fallopian tubes outside of your uterus, right? That is the pathway to naturally get pregnant, right? You go get a surgery, myomectomy, you find out, you know, one tube is blocked, right? You know, are you going to get another surgery, right? Doctors is another surgery. That's another amount of scar tissue. Like, you know, so we're just constantly getting deeper, deeper into the ground of no solution. Excuse me. And then you have that other tube, right? You have one tube that's not blocked, right? And you're listening right now. Fibroids grow, right? If there is not a, a, um, a practice, um, a way for them to stop growing, which was which requires again a formula, something to change the way your cells work. They will keep growing. You've changed your diet. You started doing Pilates, right? You're drinking tea. Those are not enough to change how your cells work, right? These are cells. These are not just losing weight, losing five pounds. Yeah, you're going to be able to do that. But you're talking about fibroids. They're not. Fat cells, they're not fat cells. So typical working out and typical lifestyle changes is not enough. These are fake cells. They require a little bit more work. They need a formula strong enough to change the way your nervous system, your hormones, right? Your cells, everything, how 
your entire insides are operating, it's going to take a formula. So when I realized how this formula was working, I was not only empowered, but motivated to use that, that energy to define my new purpose. And that is to help women with this, with this formula and making it work for them in their situation so that way they are moving towards a solution. There is a huge, there is a huge void in the medical community when it comes to fibroids. And fibroids are commonly found in women of color, in melanated women. So there is an agenda behind all that. And we, if you want more information, we can talk offline, right? But there is an agenda behind all of that. But what we have control of is the decisions we make, right? We have control of ourselves, our health, our body, right? We have control more than what we think, right? Many women I talk to, sometimes I see, I was even one that talked like this and said, oh, because of my mom, I have fibroids, oh, because of this, oh, I gotta get through to the doctor, I gotta, you know, get it from this person, that person. I had a victim mindset for a very long time, constantly seeking from others, depending on others, but at the end of the day, it was all within me. I just didn't know, right, until I was around a community that inspired that I inspired to be like. A community helped me see myself because they, they were also working to see themselves, right? See themselves in a way that allowed us to take accountability for our life, our body. And it's going to take that. And if you're listening right now and you can think about the last time you invested in yourself and how it felt to purchase that, that coaching program. You might purchase um, that, that, um, that car, right? Because you just graduated. The emotion that comes with that, right? And connecting that to the emotion that can come with you finally getting a solution to not only fibroids, but being able to reevaluate your life up until this point to say, I'm no longer this person. <laughs> I'm no longer operating this way. I'm no longer going to be in this relationship with this man who doesn't respect me. I'm no longer going to be just a number at this job that I've been at for the last 15 years that I've devoted my life to, right? I'm better than that, right? If that is you, I, I would love for us to come together and move you towards a solution to, to better your situation with these five boys. Just like I have and many women that I've worked with. From them being told that they can't conceive because they have large fibroids. Many women in our program have been able to conceive with or without fibroids, right? They were told that they only um, had one option, which was to get a hysterectomy. Not true. We've had many women overcome that, keep their uterus, and now living vibrant lives, right? Women who are trying to prevent fibroids, they don't have fibroids, they don't want fibroids, it runs in their family. They want to exercise a formula to keep them from being another statistic, right? We have women just like that. So this can work for you, right? But it does take you to understand your worth and also take responsibility for your life up until this point. Because for a fibroids to form in your body, there has been some degree of chaos in your life. There's been some degree of trauma, hurt. Um, your cells, your insides have been exposed to um, things, thoughts in your environment that has interrupted how your body works. So spiritually, mentally, emotionally, energetically, somehow there's been some misalignment. 
and that's caused your body to act in a way that houses fibroids. So knowing that, it's more empowering to see how you can unravel that with the right formula, with the right formula. So let's check in with y'all. I know I've been talking quite a bit. Any questions so far? No, Lewis. Hey, Queen. <laughs> Beijing's here. Yes, Pampers here. Amazing. Woohoo. Lanya's here. So yeah, go ahead and plug in your questions up until this point. Let me just quickly recap. Daystar, yes. Are you able to discuss cleaning your blood? So yeah, I know, right? Crazy. So cleaning your blood does involve a series of actions, series of actions, series of practices. It's a process. It's a process. And that's what's lined in our formula, our unique holistic formula, is that process. It really is a way of sequencing what you need to do in what order to clean out your blood, dilute it, so that way it's no longer feeding fibroids. There is a process. Now, what's so unique about this is that it's personalized to you because what caused fibroids in my body will cause fibroids in Tiffany's body, in Nurse Lois, you know, or Bayesian, or you know, those that are um, actually dealing with fibroids now, what caused fibroids in your body it's all different, right? It's different. So we have to approach it in a personalized way. So just know that when it comes to cleaning out your blood, we start from a cellular level. We work on many different aspects from what you eat, how you work out, um, as well as the, your lab work, uh, monitoring it from that, stress levels. So there's many different channels that we work and track to make sure your blood is getting cleaned out. So we do have a tracking system, part of our formula. And if you do want more information about this formula on how to rid of fibroids from the root to avoid having to be presented with your tubes getting blocked because you, 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 you listened to the doctor, right? Get a myomectomy and now your tubes are blocked due to scar tissue. But not only that, the fibroids grew back. Right now, it's like, oh, another surgery, more scar tissue. I'm hearing more and more about that. And that's why I decided to do a live about it. And many of the women in our program have gotten myomectomies, but they haven't came back. Not under our watch, right? No return of fibroids. So there is a way to keep fibroids from growing naturally, right? And that does require healing. Healing does require support, community, coaching, Right, it's best you know to go to a fibroid elimination coach like myself, or again, a um, practitioner who understands how to clean the blood. Right, and even just that conversation of how do you you know are you aware of how to clean the blood because that's where it starts is in the blood, and we have a unique formula here, and the process is based on your background, your lab work. So we go through that on our consultations. I can explain more of it, what it looks like for you on our consultation. So if you want to hear more, learn more, I would apply, right? So apply for our consultation. The link is in my bio. And based on your application, uh, we'll determine if you know we are a good fit to work with each other, right? You're, you're um, act actively looking for a coach, right? And you've been um, aware of how fibroids form in a body and you want to see more of what that looks like for you, let's go, right? So it does require an application. So apply, the link is in my bio and you can get more and more information on what cleaning out the blood looks like for you, right? on this consultation. So link is in my bio, Daystar. But it is a process, it is a process. Fibroids didn't grow overnight, right? And the way to eliminate them is not gonna be overnight, but it is a process, right? It's a process, it's very intentional. And 
we're, we're dealing with cells here. We're dealing with cells. The deepest, the, the, the most basic part of you. It's going to take more than just drinking tea and yogi steams, right? It's going to take more than that. So it's going to take a formula. So again, if you are interested to learn more about what this formula is to get you through the fibroids naturally, so you're not dealing with fibroids over and over again, then go to the link in my bio and apply to a consultation. And there, I will give you the tea on what this looks like for you, right? Feel free to even bring like your ultrasound reports, any labs, any imaging, you can bring that to um, the consultation as well. All right, so let me just recap really quick, give you the tea. Again, Wumala's community, I have a tip that I'm gonna share with you later. If you're not a part of the Wumala's community, you're missing out, right? Go to the link in my bio, join our free community because at the end of the day, community is super important in whatever you're doing. If you want to be successful, right? You wanna to get to a certain level, it's gonna be hard alone. <laughs> Right? It's no fun doing it by yourself at the top. It's no fun at the top by yourself, right? So community goes a long way. I know a lot of us women, especially melanated women, we've been chronically conditioned to do things by ourselves, right? We, you know, we've been taught since we were little, most of us, to say, you know, oh, I'm going to just do it by myself, just to say that. And, and what your nervous system what your nervous system does in that response and that emotion, it causes stress. It causes stress. So you could be stressing your, yourself out just based on how you are and what, how you move through life. And that is a fibroid trigger. So you're ready to bridge in with your feminine, right? And exercise your femininity and get help. Because naturally, as women, we work better together. Right? When we are vibing at the same frequency, we work better. Right? You're going to get much, much further with that help. And you know, help that understands that speaking the same language. I know I had to plug myself in communities that were healing themselves. Right? They had the data, they had the proof that they were able to go from diabetes to reversing it. They were able to go from, you know, um, fibroids to eliminating them naturally. I, I wanted to, to plug myself in that community because if they can do it, that means I can do it, right? And that's important because there's other communities that preach surgery, surgery, get drugs, do this for fibroids. And I knew for me, that was all temporary fixes. And it's like, that's not what I'm looking to do. I don't want a temporary fix. I want to get rid of this for good. So ensuring that you're plugging yourself in a community that you inspire to be like, or that are moving with you on this journey of healing. Yeah, for, for long lasting results requires healing, not treatments. Absolutely. All right, Shiva's here, Ellie's here. Let me know in the comments what stuck with you. I know I share quite a bit. Let me know in the comments what stuck with you. And again, you're ready to invest in yourself. You've been to the doctor, you feel differently about the advice you were given. You've gotten two, three myomectomies, now your tubes are blocked, right? This is for you. It's time to do something different, right? Do something different. And I feel like I relate to many women on a higher level, not because I'm a registered nurse, I'm familiar with the medical side of things, but I've been through it, right? being told to watch and wait, being told to take this birth control. Fibroids just kept growing and growing, right? Until I looked, you know, six months pregnant. And, you know, working with patients, fibroid patients, seeing them get the surgery, come back for another surgery, working as a personal trainer, understanding that typical exercises can be stressing my body out. It's just not about going vegan, right? Drinking teas, but really changing the dynamic of how I think, eat, and move. And that requires a formula. Yeah, that requires a formula. And that's what I was able to create, just understanding how 
complex our, 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 our bodies are and, and complex to the extent of there's many different pieces to it, but empowerment to know that it's closely connected to nature, closely connected to nature and we're, we're just energy. You know, you know, we are light, energy, and movement. The type of frequency that comes with the movement all play a role on the dynamic of how our body works. Once you get that, it just becomes simple. Complexity to simple. And it can be simple. And when you have the right help, right support to lead you on a path of eliminating fibroids, naturally and becoming the best version of yourself you keep working towards that higher self it's ultimate bliss so i thought you know what how can i not share this with the world and that's what i did what six seven years ago here i am here i am talking with you right large fibroids life was a mess i was a mess you know, I, I didn't think I would be at this point at all, leaving that doctor's office. I never thought I would get to this point, <laughs> but it's possible. It is possible. And now I, I really use that mindset piece of the, the formula, the unique holistic formula. I use that mindset piece to really instill and empower women to know that they have what it takes, right? You're, you're in this community of women just like you using this formula to better themselves. And when you're in the midst of that and the nick of that, it just hits differently. It just gives you more motivation knowing that your friend is doing this too. She's eliminating fibroids. She's getting results. She's like, hey girl, my, my period went from seven days to five days. Like how exciting is it to hear that from your friend? You guys are both doing this together, following a regimen that works following a formula that's telling you what you need to be doing, how you need to eat, how you need to fast, your lab work, things that the doctor never talked to me about, never talked to me about, about you know my diet or anything. And all of those things played a role in these five boys growing larger, right? Telling, being told to watch and wait and they just grew and grew. Like, it was, it, it was crazy that he he told me that um, it was crazy that he told me that fibroids are just something that just is normal. I was so like bamboozled about that. I was like, what? You know, normal in black women. And I'm like, oh, do I just cough it up and, and just go along with it? Go on through life with, with, with this just this narrative? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But it took me to be aware of my worth, right? He's just being a doctor and what he knows and what he thinks. But I know what's good for me. I know what I need. And I had the understanding at that time that I deserve better. There has to be another way. There has to be another way. And here I am. Yes. So this was um, absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that you joined, so grateful for your presence, your energy. Feel free to ask any questions. I am gonna post a video. Don't worry, I will post it on my feed. And uh, Wumala's community, stay tuned. I got some extra details for you. Again, you can still join our Wumala's community, free on Facebook, link in my bio. You need some help, right? You definitely resonated with what was said in this uh, live, right? You want to avoid a myomectomy from being, and, and avoid a myomectomy and what? And also the complication that can come with a myomectomy, like your tubes getting blocked, right? You want to prevent that snow walk from happening. Definitely go to my link and apply for a consultation, right? or you had a myomectomy, now your tubes are blocked, what to do now? Go to my link, apply for a consultation. Yes. Questions, you can either ask it on my feed, but if you have some private questions you wanna ask, you can send me a DM, apply. 
send me a DM, apply so I know, you know, what live you listen to and kind of direct the conversation. Yes. So thank you so much. And I hope you got some takeaways from this. And just know that the conventional way of life, standard quo, is just not enough for us these days. We, we have to level up. And that does take the awareness of our self-worth, right? Um, and uh, confidence that if we can surround ourselves around the right people, we can definitely make things happen. So it definitely starts with you. So thanks for joining, Peter, Lee Marie, Demore, Vegan for Fibroids. Hey, I'll see you in the next live.